Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. A beautiful, clear morning here. I'm down in Area 1. Pretty low tide right now. Almost low tide. Low tide was probably less than an hour ago. Absolutely gorgeous out here. 72 degrees. Expecting high in the upper 80s today. Some places in Southwest Florida are actually gonna maybe hit 90. Gonna be a warm day. Water temperature is 82, no red tide. Got to come out a little early this morning, a little earlier than usual. Absolutely beautiful. You always hear me talk about the sandbars that are just offshore. Well, I can get a good look at them. They're, they're exposed right now. I'll cut across here and see what's out there. about knee deep here. It's pretty, pretty clean out here. I really don't see much of anything on the sandbar. Wow. looking south down towards Vanderbilt Beach. There's a little baby cockle shell. A little baby cockle. <clears throat> find a lot of these cockles out here see if there's any more ooh sand dollars you can always find sand dollars out here there's, there's a little one there's a little sand dollar that one's almost bleached white Nice little souvenir for somebody that gets out here early before the tide comes back in. Like I said, it's they're pretty easy to find, these sand dollars. They're all over. Sad seeing dead ones like this, though, but... They're a pretty common sight. There's, what the heck happened to the phone? Ugh. Pretty common sight down here, the sand dollars. You can see another one right down there. I don't see any really big ones out here. They're all about that size. Ooh, there goes some pelicans flying by. Lots of nice little sand dollars out here this morning. Here, here's a beautiful one. Look at that one. That's a great looking little sand dollar. They are all over this sandbar. All over the place. A 
What a beautiful morning. Clear skies. Here's another live little cockle shell. He's just closing up. These are little baby cockles. Something neat though, the cockles. See when you hold them up on their side like that, can you see they make a little heart? Can you see the heart there? That's a little baby cockle shell. There's a heart. Her friend Barbara Grove, the shell lady, showed me that. Thought that was pretty neat. A little breeze out here, not much. But as you can see, it's very shallow out here this morning. As we look down to the south. Very flat out there in the Gulf this morning, really calm. If we see any dolphins come by, they're probably going to be pretty far out just because it's so shallow right now, but... Hopefully we'll get lucky and see a few come by this morning. It's gorgeous out here though. Look at that view. Looking to the north. Absolutely gorgeous. I gotta take a picture of that. Bear with me here for one minute. Just too beautiful not to have a picture. The sun's gonna be coming up. See that palm, one palm tree there? That's The sun's gonna be rising just to the right of it, right in between those two palms right there. Beautiful, beautiful morning though. Loving this clear sky. can hear an osprey calling from way up at the north end of the beach. It's really quiet out here this morning. We're down in area one. Here, if you look down, you can see these little white spots. See all these little white dots down here? These are all little baby sand dollars. All these little white dots down here, all little sand dollars. Unfortunately, they're not alive. The red tide took its toll on our sand dollars, that's for sure. Great for souvenir hunters though. There's some big ones out here. There's some that are the size of my hand out here. They're usually just buried under the surface, the sand dollars. A gorgeous, gorgeous morning. at the water is about ankle deep. Just amazing how far out you can walk at low tide. There's a little bigger sand dollar. It's got a chip in it though. Not 
seen any fish jumping out here yet. It's incredible. Incredible view of the beach from out here in the water. You can see where that sun's gonna pop up right in there. You can see some colors starting to appear. No dolph no dolphins passing by yet though. Is a dolphin out there? A school, of a school of Jack? Ah, got one of our friends here fishing up here, over on the left. And there's a so there's a school of Jack caught out here in between the sandbar and the beach. That's what happens when these tides go out. Yeah, we have these little lagoons here, these little tidal pools. The fish get caught in them. Jack's just a sport fish. Catch and release. You can kind of see them swirling around up there. <laughs> Interesting, interesting, interesting. Beautiful, there's, there's our sun getting ready to pop up over the trees soon. It's gonna be a beautiful morning out here. Absolutely gorgeous. Love this place, this time of the morning. Ooh, some birds flying by. Where are those turns? Looks like turns flying by. Come on, dolphins, where you at? Over here? Oh yeah, yeah, I see the water rippling. Yep. There we go, there's that school of Jack are swimming around right out here. You can see this water rippling. Huh. This water is about knee deep right in here between the beach and the sandbar. And apparently there's a school of jack swimming back and forth in here. They're not trapped, they can get out. Oh yeah, you can see the water like percolating over there. Hey, we're down in area one, by the way. I started all the way down at the south end of the park this morning, out on the sandbars. We're at low tide. So, yeah. Lots of extra places to walk here. Isn't that gorgeous? That early morning light and the reflections is beautiful. Just can't resist taking pictures. Sorry about that.
But I wanna get up the beach here a little ways. Take advantage of this low tide, see what all's up there. I'm gonna cut across here, it gets kinda deep. Like I said, about knee deep as I cut across here. Even deeper. Try to get out on the next sandbar up there as we get a little further north. The sand is really soft here. Just sinking right down in it. How is everyone doing this morning? Having your cup of coffee? I got a reprieve from taking my friend to work this morning, so I was able to get out earlier to the beach. Lots of birds flying by me here. <laughs> Beautiful clear sky. A couple little clouds up to the north. Slight, slight chance of rain maybe later today. But of course, the good news, always the best news of all is no red tide. Beautiful out here. The water's gorgeous. Tides come in already since I've been out here quite a bit. Starting to cover up the sandbars already. I was hoping to make it out to one more down here. Very calm out here this morning. There's two white ibis making their way up the beach. Yeah, thank goodness all those election commercials are gone. Huh. I'm glad that's over with. Almost over with. We'll have to listen to the recount, get the results of the recount there between Nelson and Scott. Then it will be over. I feel sorry for all the greyhounds that are going to have to be put to sleep. They're going to be euthanizing a lot of greyhounds because of the that Amendment 13, people think the dog racing's cruel, but 
a lot of them don't realize what's going to happen to all the racing dogs now and the families that make their living off of raising those dogs. They're estimating several thousand dogs will be euthanized. What a shame. Boy, this just jumped right here in front of me. See that seagull just plunge into the water there in front of me? Usually these sandbars are full of shells. Not much of anything out here. Some cockle shells, live cockles. Seen a lot of little baby cockles about this size. These are so neat. When you hold them on their side, you see the little heart? I love showing people that. My friend Barbara Grove showed me that. Oh, years ago, Barbara Grove, the shell lady, used to set up here on the beach with her seashell collection. The cockle heart. This is alive. I'll definitely just put this guy back here in the sand. Earlier on the other sandbar, we've seen a lot of sand dollars, a lot of little sand dollars. See, here's another cockle. This one's open. See it down there? It's a live cockle shell. Other than the cockles and the sand dollars, though, these sandbars are relatively empty. There's a school of fish right out in there. I don't know if you can see that water swirling around out there. Unfortunately, I can't walk across there. It's getting really deep. Whoa, something just jumped over there. Our friend's over there fishing. Oh, did he get one? Yeah, he got a little one. I think he got something on there. Nope. moved on I'm gonna back up a little bit and cut back over to the beach just absolutely gorgeous out here the birds flying around that's a gull some gulls flying by I thought I was gonna dive into the water gorgeous as we look down to the south here. The sun just getting ready to pop up over the trees here. Right there you can see the sun getting ready to come up. Happy hump day, everybody. Happy Wednesday. That's area two. That's the boardwalk in area two right there, the north end of area two. As you can see, it's pretty, a pretty low tide right now. All those little tree stumps that are usually out in the water, you can see them up ahead of me.
Oh, I see our Osprey friends up there in the up here on that dead branch. Very cool. There's another white ibis over here. There's two of them actually over here. The white ibis. Here comes another one coming in on the right. Catch anything yet? No, I had a jack follow me to the beach. I just had a big explode on me. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, really? These little guys are just making their way up and down the beach. It's getting close to dolphin time here. We need to see some dolphins. White ibis, that's what we're looking at right there. White ibis, two white ibis. You see some fish jumping back here in the background. There's our osprey up here in the tree. If you look really close, you can see it perched up there on the end of that branch by my fingertip. That's a pretty popular perching spot. We tend to spot osprey here quite often in the mornings. One of our Osprey friends here in Area 3. You know, I don't know what those white ibis eat. Somebody said they eat coquinas, the little coquinas. I have no idea. That'd be a good question to Google. What do white ibis eat at the beach? They eat all kinds of little grubs and worms in people's front yards. You see them all over Naples Park in people's yards. The osprey, absolutely beautiful birds. Gorgeous birds. Just patiently sitting up there waiting for a fish to come by. See lots of that, lots of little fish jumping out in the water out here. You can see the water, see it rippling out there? Something swimming along. This one come right up. Let's see if he catches something here. Going right through a school of jack. They're playing with you. They are, they're real Yeah. There is a big school of fish out here just swimming back and forth. They're playing hard to get. All right, dolphins, where are you at? Let's see a little white eye, a little snowy egret up ahead of me, just caught a fish. I also see some pelicans headed our way. See them coming at us here? Here comes a group of pelicans, brown pelicans. One just fell off and dove into the water. 
Aren't they beautiful? Look how low they get to the water. That is just amazing. They're just inches above the water when they do that. Just incredible. Loving it out here this morning. Got a nice early start. I love it. Can't sleep in the morning with the time change. It's absolutely beautiful out here today. It's gonna be hot though. They're talking about maybe hitting 90 in some places in Southwest Florida. It's gonna be highs in the upper 80s there. Even chance of rain, scattered showers, slight chance of scattered showers. We're up at the north end of area three right now. quiet out here this time of the morning the park they open the gates of the park at about 7 30. however you can buy passes to get 24-hour access to all of our state parks tide slowly coming in here slowly making its way in it's great you can come out here and look back at the beach get a beautiful look at the beach those early morning colors Isn't that gorgeous look at that sky oh the sun just coming through the palm trees over here. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful morning. Just incredible. Love it. What a gorgeous view this morning. I don't see our great blue heron here anywhere this morning. We do have a little extra beach to walk on this morning. That's kind of nice. See all that extra sand up there in front of me? Loving that blue sky, look at that. Water's right about at my knees here. Look at that, gorgeous. Now I'm up on the sandbar. Earlier down in area one, when we first went out in the water, we were seeing lots of little sand dollars. 
lots and lots of little sand dollars. I wonder if we'll see any out here. There's our friend Elsie walking on the beach. Still have not seen any dolphins come by. Boy, the water is just churning up in front of me again with another school of fish. Just, just the head up here. Look how flat it is out there this morning. Perfect, perfect for spotting a dolphin if one does come by. much on the sandbars out here this morning it's hit or miss you never know sometimes at low tide like this there's all kinds of neat shells out here look how shallow it is up here this is the south end of area four look at this really really shallow Nice little tidal pool over there. I love the way these pools pick up the reflections of the trees. Just gorgeous. I just love this early morning light out here. Lots of little fish in this little tidal pool here swimming around. You can see the water bubbling from them, <laughs> rippling. This is usually where we would see our one of our great blue herons. Easy fishing right there for him this morning. There's a school of fish right out there. See that water, how it's rippling? That's a big school of fish swimming by. Going, right, going to the south. Look at it. Look at them all out there. Wow. They're making their way down the beach this way. Probably a big school of mullet out here. You can't get too close to them. They spook pretty easy. Yeah. Darn it. Beautiful though. Look at this view back to the beach. Amazing out here this morning. These are all gulls, seagulls here in front of me. Look back there to the east. See the sun coming up there. Down to the south. Just 
beautiful. Absolute paradise this morning. Boy, that sun is getting bright. Definitely getting bright as it comes up over there, wow. Oh yeah. Hello, Mr. Sunshine. Good morning, sunshine. One of our park rangers making her morning rounds there. Beautiful view up to the north. Well, there's another one of the little baby cockle shells. One of the little baby cockles. We've seen several of these this morning. Beautiful little cockle shells. And I did. I showed you earlier. I'll show you again if you're just tuning in. The, the heart, when you hold the cockle shell on its side. See how it makes a little heart? Isn't that cool? This is a live cockle. We don't take anything that's alive home from the beach or anything that has something living in it home from the beach. Let's see the heart, isn't that cool? Another one here, when you turn it on its end. The cockle shell, a little baby cockle. I'll just put that down by the edge of the water. The tide's slowly coming back in here. Some of our seagull friends here. Taking a bath out there, splashing around. It's fun to watch them. I think those are laughing gulls. And there's some little sandpipers there mixed in with them. Little plovers, I think they are. Love watching the birds. I love it. I don't see all of our terns up here in Area 4. I don't know where they are. that share button is everybody still in bed where's all our friends at what a gorgeous view this morning this morning we started down in area one down at the south end of the park Got a nice early start. Our beautiful beach. Well, we're going to be getting a new governor here. It's going to be interesting to see what changes are made. 
usually what happens in Tallahassee, the only thing that really changes in politics is the names on the doors. Hopefully, our new governor will make a difference. No matter what happens, nothing's gonna change overnight. One person can't change things overnight, but they can over time. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we see some changes here in Florida with the way we manage our waters, our lands. I am surprised that we have not seen any dolphins swim by yet this morning. But look how big this sandbar is out here this morning. It's huge. Absolutely huge. This is up in area four. This is where we would, we were seeing all the turns. The skimmers and the turns. Not seeing any this morning up here. Don't know where they are. Morning. They might have had enough of the with the people. Just disturbing them. What a great view from out here though, huh? Absolutely gorgeous. A big school of fish right out here in front of me. You see the water kind of swirling around. I'm just surprised the dolphins aren't up here chasing these fish. Look at all the beach up here right now. Look how far out I am in the water, man. Lots and lots of beach here. Of course, this will all be gone as the tide comes in. It's amazing though, the difference between high and low tides here. Roy's Beach. We're at Roy's Beach, everybody. The pine trees there, those four pine trees, five pine trees. The north end of Area 4, Roy's Beach. amazing how much this beach has changed in the past year. Absolutely incredible.
something out here in the water swimming around. Just can't get close enough to see if they're sheephead or mullet or jack. We've been seeing lots and lots of schools of fish swimming by this morning. Look at the water though, beautiful. Now the sun's coming up, you can see it, the reflections on the bottom there, isn't that gorgeous? Definitely living in paradise. We are definitely living in paradise there. No two ways about it. No shells out here this morning though, wow. You'd think with this low tide, we'd be seeing lots of shells out here. Not really much of anything. We did see a lot of sand dollars earlier this morning. Saw a lot of cockle shells, little baby cockles out on the sandbars. Not really much of anything else. There's a little fighting conch shell. But the beach is fairly clean when it comes to shells there. A lot of rocks up here. Rocks on the beach. So flat out there. Flat and blue today, so blue. Very, very blue morning. Oopsie-daisy. Yeah, I see a few more people have joined us here. Couple more people getting out of bed. Another school of fish out here swimming by. You see those ripples out there in the water? I believe those are jack. See how the, the water is rippling that, that direction? It's a big school of fish swimming by. been coming by all morning. Mullet, jack, sheephead. Probably some snook out there too.
so peaceful out here. So tranquil. Here's another look at Roy's trees. Roy's beach here. Seagull just landed on the sandbar there. He just caught a fish. <laughs> he just landed and grabbed a fish. That was pretty neat. Water is so nice. 82 degrees, nice and clear. Not dealing with that nasty old red tide, thankfully. You can definitely feel the water starting to cool down. Definitely. Definitely starting to drop in temperature. Thankfully. Boy, we had some beautiful views this morning. Just gorgeous views. The early morning light. Some of the reflections in these tidal pools were just gorgeous. The pine trees reflecting in them. Would you like to be out here walking the beach with me? I could use the spotter. That would be fun. An extra set of eyes, scanning the gulf for dolphins, watching the beach for shells. However, we have not seen much in the way of shells this morning. Past couple mornings. I really thought getting out here early we'd see some dolphins. No matter what, it's always beautiful out here, whether we see the dolphins or not. Dolphins are just a, an added bonus.
There's a piece of a big sand dollar over here. We saw a little, lot of little ones when we first came out to the beach this morning. A lot of little sand dollars. There's, there's just a piece of a big sand dollar right there. So you can see how big they get. Use your imagination. That was a pretty nice sized sand dollar at one time. So a lot of little baby sand dollars down in area one this morning. just out here absolute heaven heaven on earth folks no two ways about it I love these little patterns in the sand with the water leaves as it's the tides going out all these little ripples Isn't that neat Some really interesting patterns. That is so cool. I'm going to slowly make my way back down the beach. We started all the way down in area one this morning. We covered a lot of territory this morning. Beautiful morning. We have not seen dolphins yet. did not see all of our turns up here either in area four. I don't know where they went. They might have found a more secluded spot. There's a lot of people walking by and disturbing them. So they might have opted for a new location. Can't blame them. Little snowy egret. Whoa, there they go, chasing you. That one's chasing the other one away. <laughs> we saw them dancing around yesterday. Boy, that was an interesting sight in yesterday's morning's beach walk video.
Noisy birds. We did see one of our ospreys this morning. Perched up in area three on the that dead branch in that pine tree. Another little snowy egret flying by. There's a few turns. It looks like a few turns out here on this little sandbar. Some seagulls and some turns, some little sandpipers mixed in here. They're right in the shade of one of the big pine trees. The sun's still pretty low in the sky. Here's some of the turns. bird watching. One of my favorite things to do here in the morning. Some gulls. That one's standing on one foot there. I think it's got a broken foot. It does. Yep, it's got a broken leg, that one seagull. That's a broken leg. How sad. You can see its little broken leg there. Sad. Kind of all mangled and twisted around. Hmm. Well, I guess it's better to have one leg and than no legs.
Beautiful clear blue sky out there this morning. Look at that. Such perfect conditions for watching dolphins and they're not coming by. Nice and flat. Isn't that gorgeous? Is that not a beautiful view? What do you think? Just looking up the beach. Look at that blue sky. the sun right behind the trees there. We're right in between areas three and four now. It is really shallow out here. So if we're gonna see a dolphin, it's probably gonna be pretty far out. I mean, that water's maybe a foot deep out here in front of me. Just because we're at low tide. Any of my friends that might happen to be watching, we're going to have a memorial service for our friend Christopher Grenier. Christopher Grenier this Saturday at the VFW Post in Bonita Springs. That's by the dog track. And then it's going to be from 2 to 6 p.m. Everybody's welcome. Again, that, we're going to have that memorial, a memorial, a celebration of life for our friend Christopher Grenier. Hope to see everybody there. My friend Chris was a really good guy. He cared more about other people than himself. He took much better care of other people than he took of himself. It's sad. Passed away at 48 years old. He was a very kind, loving soul. Now we're getting into the shade, getting into the shadows of the pines. Oh, and there's an osprey sitting up there. You see it? I bet you don't see it. See it up there? There's an osprey perched up there. Right up at the north end of area three just above the boardwalk at the north end of Area 3. And right up there is where he is. <laughs> Do 
cute little snowy egrets here, just hanging out. See there, you can see it's a little yellow feet there. That little bit of yellow by its on its face, right by its eyes. Beautiful little birds. The little snowy egret. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weather down here. Nice clear water. There's a little white ibis over here. Way you go. He's not sure which way he's going. The white ibis. Oh, there's a flock of pelicans. A flock of pelicans. Heading to the north. Still no signs of any dolphins out there. Awful calm. Be easy to spot them out there. Really, really flat out there. There's our little white ibis again. We kind of got distracted when those pelicans went by. Somebody asked earlier what they eat. I don't know what they're probing for. I don't know what they eat. I know. When you see them in our yards, you see them in our yards here up in North Naples, they're eating little bugs and grubs. I don't know what they eat out here in the water. Beautiful though, isn't that, with the little reflections in the water. Hear that osprey falling out behind me? Still back there, there was an osprey up in the tree behind me. Let's see here, where was he? Yep, still up there. Still up there. There you can see the osprey. That's the osprey you're hearing. Kind of looking at its butt. <laughs> beautiful birds though, those ospreys. Absolutely beautiful. See it up there, you can Barely see it right up in the top center there of the screen. That little black dot. That's that osprey. I 
see our friend Justine. Justine coming up the beach here with her bag of shells. Any luck this morning? Yeah. Yeah? You had some luck? Well, you know, everything is good. Oh. I found a little nutmeg. Oh, nice. A and nutmeg. then I found a nice shark's tooth. A shark's tooth. It's small, but it's, I think it's pretty nice. It's, it's the... Uh, oh, wow, yeah. It's got the serrations on it. Oh, yeah, that's a nice little shark's tooth. You can see it better from that side, how oh, it's got yeah. the serrations on both nice. sides. Nice, good job. Yeah. Lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> My I'm last so... morning here. Oh, I'm you're home. leaving already? I head home tonight. Yeah, I, have to, I just came down to vote. So I oh, go okay. Home and work. Oh, okay. When will you be back? Um, middle of December. All right. For a few weeks for Christmas. All right. Well, have a safe trip. Thanks. All right. Take care. You too. Well, that was nice. She came down to vote. Every vote matters. And we're going to find out this election once again for sure about every vote counting. Looks like it was a tight race there between Scott and Nelson. It was a close race too for governor. Pretty close. It was like, what do they say, 80,000 votes between the two, the difference. Beautiful as we look up to the north there. Just gorgeous. It's so blue out here today. So, so blue. Wednesday morning blues. Seeing all kinds of fish swimming offshore here, just offshore. Oh, big school of fish jumping out of the water, but no dolphins yet. No dolphins. So much food here for them this morning. I'm surprised they're not here. Loving these colors though. Oh man, there are so many fish out there. I can see their fins popping up out of the water out there. Look at them, you see them jumping out there? Just everywhere. Just as I zoomed in and caught some of them jumping. The water is loaded, loaded with fish this morning. Just look right out here in front of me, you see it rippling. See him jumping out there? jump up here. I've been seeing them all morning. There's one of our little snowy egrets making its way down towards us. One of our little snowy egrets. Follow this guy for a little bit. See if he catches anything. He or she. eye on something. It's a 
Gonna catch something. Come on. We're waiting for you. Yep. Gonna move up the beach. Nope. Moving on. A little snowy egret. Yep. They're fun to watch. All the birds are fun to watch out here. Look how beautiful it is. Uh, look at that clear blue sky this morning. Look at the water. Look at that water right there. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Eighty two degrees is the water temperature right now. Hey, remember, if you enjoy these beach walks, nobody pays me. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. I'm not asking for tons of money, just every little bit helps. Helps pay the phone bill, keep the gas in the car, take care of those little unexpected expenses. Anybody that wants to help out, you can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post. There is a lot of fish right out here. See that water swirling? That's a school of fish out there. See how that water is rippling around out there? See him jumping out? Look at them. Look at them all jumping around. I hope you can see them. I think they were jack. One of the fishermen said they were jack. Lots and lots of schools of jack out there this morning. There is a lot of them out there. Can you see them jumping? The sun's shining on the screen right now. I'm having a hard time seeing the camera screen. But I'm surprised the dolphins aren't in here chasing after them. That's so I've been seeing them all morning up and down the beach. All morning. Good morning, how are you doing? Really didn't see much in the way of seashells this morning. I have a dull morning for shelling. But it was just gorgeous. So we got a nice early start this morning. Saw some absolutely beautiful colors. Another little snowy egret here. We're going to see one catch a fish. It happens so fast. Taking a drink.
Very patient. The little snowy egret. You gonna catch something? Mm, gonna move up, move down the beach a little further. Make it harder for me to follow you. Get one? No. Oh, rats. Well, better luck next time, buddy. another little snowy out there a little snowy egret when there's some big fish swimming there's snook some snook I don't know if you can see them in the water down there a school of snook some sheephead and a snook there's sheephead I don't know if you can see those striped fish out there those are sheephead Really hard with the reflections. Big school of sheephead. Big, big school of sheephead swimming by. Wow. Just offshore, right in here. School all the way back here, all along the beach. Wow. Very neat. So nice, all of our fish returning here. This beach was dead for months because of the red tide. No people, no fish, no birds. Starving raccoons, that's the only thing that was out here at the beach. It was sad. Good morning. Ooh, there's a big snook right out there. See that dark spot? That's a snook. And that's a big snook right there, that dark spot in the water. It's slowly making its way up along the beach. Very cool. We have definitely seen our, I have seen my share of fish out here this morning. School after school after school of fish swimming by. Oh, just right out here. The snook is right over there. He sees me coming, he's moving out. Just wanna give you a look up our beach here. Gorgeous, isn't it? Just can't get over how blue it is this morning. I love those white puffy clouds down here, but the blue is just as beautiful. The clear blue sky, either way, I'll take it. <laughs> either way. This is definitely paradise. We're getting back down to where we started from this morning, down in area one. 
We had a wonderful walk this morning. We went from area one up to the north end of area four. Started out in the early morning light. It's just beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous, the colors. As we saw them slowly changing this morning. The only thing we didn't see were any dolphins. And I am absolutely flabbergasted that we didn't see any dolphins. It is so calm. There's so many fish along the shore here. I really thought we were going to see some dolphin action. But you never know. You never know when those dolphins are going to be around, where or when. They're always out here. Just They're coming. They'll be by at some point. Sometimes it's early in the morning. Sometimes it's later in the day. But they do eventually show up. Dolphins usually show up right after I leave. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm gonna give you one more look at that water. It's just absolutely beautiful. We're at area one now. Look at those colors. Look at those colors. Beautiful. and clean and clear. Well, how was your morning? Good. One snook. One snook? Nice. A ray. A ray? Yeah, you just lost more than me. Oh, wow. I thought I had a world record redfish. Oh, wow. Big. There's so many fish out there this morning. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's cool. Something's working right there. Yeah. It's been like that all the morning up and down the beach. Some sheep's head right here. Yeah, I, I saw them. There's that's a big school of them. Yeah. I'm going to leave, but. Yeah. See if that comes in. <laughs> yeah. When I leave, the dolphins always show yeah, up. They show up <laughs> Have a great day. God, there's a big school of fish down there. It's looking south down Area 1 Beach, down towards Vanderbilt Beach. A beautiful Wednesday morning here in North Naples. Absolutely gorgeous. Whoa. Calm down there. <laughs> the blowout. Nuclear blowout. Isn't that beautiful? Our beautiful chunk of paradise one more quick look around I want to thank everybody for watching be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida television take the time to check out all of my photos and videos here I know you're gonna find something you like search for some of those dolphin encounters Roy and I have had some pretty incredible dolphin encounters here look for those videos on YouTube, here on Facebook. Remember, you can find all these beach walks posted on Facebook as on YouTube also.
please, please, please tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television and always make sure you introduce yourself to the group here when you're watching. That's what it's all about here, making new friends. It's more than just a beach walk. We're a little community here. And as always, nobody pays me to be out here. I love coming out here doing these walks. But if anybody wants to make a little contribution, it always comes in handy. It helps pay the phone bill. Just recently, it helped replace this gimbal, the thing that holds the camera steady. Without your contributions, I wouldn't have it. And I really appreciate that. Well, thanks for watching. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.